You didn't tell him? No. Tell me what? Tell me what? Um, I'm, I'm the father. Oh, what? You know him as one of America's most successful television hosts, a comedian, writer, and producer. He is the host and executive producer of Jimmy Kimmel Live, a late night talk show that premiered nearly 20 years ago. In 2018, Time Magazine named him as one of the world's 100 most influential people. Not bad for a guy who initially did not want to do television. He began writing for Fox announcers and promotions and was quickly recruited to do the on-air promotions himself. He declined several offers for television shows from producer Michael Davies. In these videos, we do not reveal any addresses, so please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Today, Jimmy Kimmel is one of the top earning late night hosts. In January 2013, Jimmy Kimmel received the star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame, commemorating his almost two decades of hosting Jimmy Kimmel Live, along with countless hosting gigs. But we're different. Like, what did Jimmy Fallon have for breakfast today? I had oatmeal with baby carrots on top. That's what I had. With seemingly no shortage of jobs for the comedian, Celebrity Net Worth reports Kimmel's net worth is a whopping $50 million. In addition to being pretty well off, the high figures put Kimmel in some pretty good company. In 2017, CNBC reported that Kimmel was among the top earning late night talk show hosts. Kimmel has often joked that he never planned to be a late night talk show host, but the truth is he's been obsessed with Letterman since the fourth grade. In a time tribute to Letterman's retirement in 2015, Kimmel talked about his idol. Every school night I watched with the kind of simmering fervor described in newspaper profiles of teens who run away from home to fight for ISIS. First period started at 7.35 a.m., but Dave was more important than sleep. Kimmel wrote, On the day I turned 16, I blew out candles on a late night birthday cake. I had late night vanity plates on my first car. Dave smoked cigars, so I smoked cigars. Kimmel modeled his own career after Letterman's, but he never expected it to work out so well that someday he would find himself competing against his hero. Now that $50 million net worth has allowed Jimmy to snag some pretty luxurious real estate portfolio in Hollywood. What's poppin' guys? It's your boy Marlon Palmer, and we're bringing you another house tour here on Famous Entertainment. I notice 95% of you guys are not subscribed, okay? I need you guys to subscribe. Hit that subscribe button because we post a new video every day. In this video, we'll take a look at Jimmy Kimmel and a few matches he's called home over the years. If you guys like these videos, please ring that bell for notifications. We've also done house tours on the likes of Tony Braxton, Keith Urban, and we'll link to some at the end. Follow me on Instagram at McFly to chat and let me know whose house tour to do next in the comments down below. Now let's get into the video. Jimmy Kimmel owns two properties and one of them close to work in LA, California. The two bedroom, four and three quarter bathrooms and 5,500 square foot property last sold in 2008 for six million. The estimated value today is 5.1 million with an estimated mortgage of 24,000 a month. Starting with the placement on the site and the stunning setting, combined elements create a one of a kind landmark. The main house soars effortlessly in the sky that one experiences a visceral quality that is rarely experienced in homes. The interplay between the exterior and exterior is captivating. Progressive aesthetic continues with separate guest houses that includes gym office and home theater, finest address in Hollywood Hills. Jimmy bought this house in the Hollywood Hills in 2002 for $925,000 and completely remodeled it, adding the gourmet kitchen and the bar with a view. Another notable update is the spa master bathroom with freestanding tub and open shower combo. Jimmy hasn't lived here since 2008 when he bought his current house. This one went on the market in 2012 and again in 2014, finally settling for $2.3 million in 2016. Kimmel bought this modern five bedroom, five bathroom in 2008 for six million. It's also in the Hollywood Hills, but in a more classy location near Chateau Marmont. In 2011, he snatched up the 1900 square foot, three bed, three bath directly next door for 1.1 million. He still lives there as of 2016. Another one of Jimmy's babies is a stunning pad in Hermosa Beach. This place has four bedrooms, two bathrooms, it's 2100 square feet. The house was last sold in 2017 for eight million and has an estimated value of nine million today and an estimated mortgage of 42,000 a month. The listing is described as surrounded by massive of estate properties. This home is located at the end of an exclusive cul-de-sac and has mature old growth trees which provide irreplaceable privacy. This property is one of the last great estate lots in Hermosa's Hill Section Knoll, north of Gold and adjacent to Manhattan Beach's Hill Section. The lot totals 18,000 square feet and offers unblockable panoramic 220 degree ocean views with 178 linear feet of southwestern exposure. There's an additional 70 linear feet of west-facing lot frontage that allows the second floor of a new home to look due west at an 
unblockable ocean views towards Malibu. The second floor to the new home will connect these two view corridors to create an unheard of approximately 248 degree linear feet of unblockable ocean views situated in the privacy of a gated compound. The most valuable and private of ocean views lots look through the wide part of the lot to the water, move into this 75 year old charming home or one can build over 20,000 square feet of home if one so chooses. Jimmy Kimmel has a tendency to quietly drop $8 million in Hermosa Beach. After a large Mediterranean style mansion in the LA seaside neighborhood of Hermosa Beach recently sold for nearly $8.2 million, one of the highest prices ever paid for a home in the laid back beachside community. The property immediately next door to the mansion sold last year for $8 million to a mysterious blind trust. It was soon discovered that the buyers behind that blind trust were none other than Jimmy Kimmel and his wife Molly McNerney. It was not a huge surprise to anyone as the Kimmels are longtime Hermosa Beach fans and this is actually their third home in the neighborhood. At the time of sale, the large property contained a 2100 square foot two-story cottage that was built in the 1940s. It was likely product of a teardown, particularly since off the market listing provided many photographs of the view but none of the home's interior. And since this transaction closed back in 2017 of January, many wondered if perhaps the Kimmels had demolished the structure and begun building a dream home. However, their little old house is still standing and occupied but rather by a local young artist named Lorian Stern. We don't know much about Miss Stern or fully understand her connection is to the Kimmel clan, but she certainly seems to be either a close family friend or maybe even a relative. A little investigating reveals that Mr. Kimmel and his kids and Miss McNerney all follow Miss Stern on the ground. The property spans 42 acres, a very rare amount of land for tightly packed Hermosa, located in the coveted hill section and at the end of a quiet cul-de-sac, the house has clear views of the Pacific Ocean, Catalina and the Palos Verdes Peninsula. The current humble abode has four beds and two baths, but the listing makes a point to call out that the lot can potentially accommodate a 20,000 square foot custom mega mansion. Since 04 when he bought it for 2.1 million, Mr. Kimmel's main residence in Hermosa has been the 2,200 square foot house above. The house is conveniently located only one block from the beach. Some of Mr. Kimmel's high profile Hermosa neighbors include billionaire In-N-Out Burger heiress Lindsay Snyder and billionaire rock star energy drink founder Russ Swiner. In September 2014, Mr. Kimmel shelled out 2.2 million for a duplex structure in Hermosa. The property is occupied by sister-in-law Kelly McNerney. Records show that Mr. Kimmel deeded the house over from his blind trust to Miss McNerney's name in 2015. When they are not in Hermosa Beach, Mr. Kimmel and Miss McNerney's main residence is a two-parcel, two-house compound located on a famously star-studded street in the Hollywood Hills, just above the legendary Chateau Marmont. Our Mr. Kimmel purchased the contemporary complex in two separate transactions a few years back for a total outlay of $7.1 million. Alright guys, that's all I have for Jimmy Kimmel and where he calls home. After looking at a few of his properties, past and present. What do you guys think? Be sure to rate his homes in the comments down below. I gotta say that mansion in Hollywood Hills, that's an 11 out of 10 for me. Make sure you guys follow me on Instagram at McFly so we can chat some more and let me know in the comments below who you guys would like to see a house tour on next. I'll see you guys next time.